Hey, hi there. Welcome back to the Texas Kayak Bassin YouTube channel. So glad you took the time out of your day to come watch this video, hang out here for a little bit, and uh, see what we have going on today. If you haven't yet, and you enjoy fishing, specifically fishing from little plastic boats, which I'm sure you do given the channel that we're at right now, go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave a comment down there. Let me know... Uh, you know where you're from let's just go ahead and leave a comment where you're from uh, today we have something brand new to the channel so six cents they have their revamped monthly sack that you can get so it was sold out the first go around I could not get around to getting it I was lucky enough when they reopened it to go ahead and snag a bag so we're gonna go ahead unbox this together as you can see unopened we're going to go through this together. I'm not sure. I believe this is the March bag. So we're going to get through it together. We're going to look at some of the base and see what they have. So stick around. Let's see what we can do. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Break the tape. So I was really excited to get this, guys. I've actually never ordered a subscription bag from them. So I got plenty of tackle from before. I love their stuff. Use it quite frequently here on the channel. But I've never actually purchased their monthly bag. So... So really excited to get my hands on this. This is the new one. They kind of upgraded how they're doing the bags. So, uh, look, you know, they, they heard the complaints and the concerns from people who have subscribed to the bag in the past. So they've uh, changed it. So we're gonna go through together, see what's in here. Like I said, I believe this is the March bag. So I know we're a little late getting to it, but um, I'm excited to get my hands on it and kind of show you what we have in here. So here we go. Uh, we're starting off with a great bait this time of year. Actually, any time of year, I love it. So it's the Divine. Shaky and green pumpkin burst. So great color. I love this color. Uh, it's going to imitate those bluegills. And this time of year, the bass, once they had their fry, they are very protective and do not like bluegill. Uh, you know, bluegill come around, pick off their fries. So they're very protective. So anything that resembles a bluegill this time of year will be a great bait to throw and uh, get bits. So, um, like I said, the shaky worm is great. You can Texas rig it. You can put it on a shaky head. You can fish it weightless. So lots of different options, um, but definitely a good bait to have. Excited to see that. Next up, we have the Movement ADX. Let's try not to get that glare there for you. Uh, so the Movement ADX. So this is another good bait. Um, this one dives one to three feet. So I like this up shallow bass. That's where they're spawning. So uh, you know, six cents has got this one, this one right. Like I said, one to three foot diver gives a good action. Great color here. This is the color of Threadfin Shad. So especially down here in Texas, this is a great color to have. Anything that tastes shad. Coming up next. Oh, this is uh, actually I don't know what else is in this bag, but this one right here, something that you have to throw this time of year. You've seen me in previous videos talk about throwing lipless crankbaits we have the quake 80 suspending jerkbait again in a nice bluegill color this is the 4k bluegill suspending lipless crankbait so this one's great i'm gonna throw it out there i like to pop it it's gonna sit there so similar how jerkbaits will fish they'll just kind of sit there right in front of the bass makes it hard for them to resist going after it again like we said with the shaky head they don't like bluegill hanging around their beds so throw this around the bed uh, you know crank it around it let it kind of suspend right in their face bass are going to eat it six cents you're doing excellent this one i'm liking it so far all right so now this next one we're going to say with hard plastics this is the crush mini 25 MD. So it's in a blue true shad. Another good color, especially if you got some dirty water. So if you're fishing in dirtier water, this is a good bait to throw. Good color. It's going to stand out, uh, kind of draw that attention. Nice small size. So fishing is tough. Great bait to throw. You know, sometimes you got to downsize that presentation. Four to seven foot diver with this guy. So a great bait to throw up shallow um, on those first point drop offs. So another good one. Great dirty water color. All right, let's see. We've got a few more baits down in here. All right, so sticking with the hard baits. Now, this is kind of, in my opinion, the best of both worlds. We have the Crush Flat 
75X. And look at that color. Can't beat that. The Wild Lava Craw. So this is a flat-sided lip crankbait. So this is going to give you that tight action you get with the lipless, but it's going to allow you to throw it up shallow, use that build to deflect off all the cover. So again, this is a two to five foot diver. What's great about that depth, again, you're throwing it up shallow, but you're also able to throw it off those staging points they have if you're not quite uh, all the bass moved up. So another great option, great color. You can't go wrong throwing crawfish colors in the spring. Bass love red and, uh, you know, as always, Sixth Sense just knocks it out of the park with their their color scheme. So, uh, excellent bait. Uh, another hard plastic that is gonna gonna definitely get the job done. So we got a couple more here uh, in the bag. So one thing that Sixth Sense had talked about with this revamped sack is they're gonna start giving you baits and colors and different things that uh, aren't released yet, new releases, limited releases, all those good things. So. What we have up next is um, three that will fit in that, that category. So um, we talked about Texas rigging our base. We got some lead worm weights. So quarter ounce, eight to a pack. So again, this is great. Um, I know a lot of us use tungsten, but this is great to have for, for guys who don't use it yet. I like to use lead on my... Um, Tokyo rigs a whole lot, as well as my Carolina rigs when I'm throwing it. But uh, the lead worm weights, eight to a pack, quarter ounce. So great, we'll throw that on a vine, shaky worm, Texas rig that. Uh, and that'll be an excellent bait to have, throwing around, like I said, up shallow, driving them crazy. We got some drop shop hooks, five to a pack, number one size. You know, if you haven't used any of the hooks from Sixth Sense, they're great hooks, quality hooks, they work. So uh, drop shot hooks, which leads us into what you guys can probably guess is our final bait in it is something brand new. It's actually a Sixth Sense exclusive color. It is their Glitch. It's their tiny little drop shot uh, bait. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these out because I've actually never seen this bait before. I've seen it in other videos that people have posted um, in this March box, but something that you know, I've never seen before. So the glitch, tiny, good color. Uh, kind of a green pumpkin with some, it looks like silver, or maybe some gold fleck in there. So that's gonna be an excellent little little drop shot bait right here. Um, we'll throw that in the hook, can't beat it. Nice thick body to nose hook it, but what's nice is tail, the way it tapers. Um, and then the end kind of has a little bulb on the end of it. What's gonna be great with that is it's gonna just kind of sit there and float. It's gonna be a great bait to throw on that drop shot. Uh, that's a bait and a technique that I'm working on throwing more. I'm tired of losing tournaments to guys who are throwing a drop shot. So I've made a point this year that we're throwing a drop shot and we're gonna start getting bid on it. Um, so this is gonna be a great color to throw, great bait. So uh, you get eight in this pack. Like I said, it's exclusive. That's one of the perks of this new Six Cents subscription pack is that you're getting exclusive baits, exclusive colors. So they're trying to kind of make the, the, a good sack, probably the best subscription sack, even better. So um, if you haven't got a chance, definitely recommend hopping on to Sixth Sense website. Go ahead and see if they have it in stock. Last I checked, it was sold out again. So uh, they kind of open it up as spots open up. It's one of those things where if someone drops out each month, you know, then you have a chance to jump in and they open it back up for new subscribers. So I was fortunate enough, I'm really happy. Uh, looking forward to the April box, um, but there are codes out there. I don't have one, um, but you can find plenty of codes that get you some money off. So find your favorite uh, Six Sense Fisherman, go ahead and check their page out, and they will be able to get you a code to save you money on your first box, um, as well as just any tackle orders you need. They have everything at Six Sense, hard bait, soft baits, terminal tackle, um, pre-rigged, setups so you can't go wrong go ahead and check it out so guys thank you for coming around for this unboxing first one on the channel we'll do a few more if you liked it so go ahead and get down in the comments let me know if you did like this uh what your favorite bait from this bag this bag was the march bag um and then we're gonna you know keep doing this every month uh, as long as i keep the subscription so next one comes here in a couple weeks in april we'll get out in a little bit timelier of a manner but uh Thank you for taking your time out today. Spend it here with me. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Good luck and get out there and fish.